Hey guys, in this video, I'm doing how to avoid flashback makeup look, I guess. I'm just sharing my tips and tricks on how to avoid flashback. Sweetie, we've all been in that boat. We've all looked like a mess. Especially if you're brown, you know you have like five friends who walk around looking like this. I did too and it kind of sucks. I just thought of this video where it might help someone out on how to do proper makeup without getting that terrible flashback. I also do a flashback test at the end of the video. I click a picture with my iPhone camera just to see the results. Before I begin, I do have my eyebrows done as well as uh, I put lashes as well mainly because this is just like a face based makeup. Eye makeup isn't that important in this tutorial so I kind of skipped the brows and lashes because that takes a lot of time and we're just here for the base. First prime my face, this is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. So everyone compares this to the Hourglass Veil Primer but I just realized one thing, uh, this has titanium dioxide this is one of the ingredients that you have to be careful of you cannot use this because this will give you flashback if you can see it has this really weird purple white cast i don't know what that is and it makes me look so ashy so yeah this this will give me flashback so we're gonna skip on the primer and i think i'm just gonna go in for foundation so for foundation i'm using the la girl uh, pro coverage hd longwear illuminating foundation anything that says hd is safe like 99% of them but you still gotta check the ingredients at the back just to make sure that it doesn't have titan tit titanium oh. I actually have an app that I've installed just to see how you pronounce that properly because that word is confusing man titanium dioxide titanium really titanium dioxide titanium dioxide titanium dioxide okay shit I thought it was titanium Two seconds in the video where I already failed, okay. Titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, silica mica. Anything that has SPF in it, girl, throw it. Also, I was reading a blog, like this blog was very interesting where she said that this specific ingredient can also give you flashback. It's called imidazolinium urea. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Oh, I'm just gonna use the app again. Imidazolindinyl urea. Wait, what? Imidazolindinyl urea. Imidazolindinyl urea. Imidazolindinyl urea. Oh, never mind. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll just apply foundation. This does look really light on camera, but it oxidizes like 50 shades more. And it'll be my perfect match. So don't worry about it. I look crazy, but it's gonna work, okay? Okay, so back in the day, I used to... I never even knew what flashback meant, trust me. I just, like, applied makeup, I guess, and I was like, that's it. Like, you just, you know, get, this, get like, makeup that's, like, your shade, plop it on, just, like... But apparently not. There's something called flashback that most of us didn't study in high school. Why didn't they teach that in high school? Why are you teaching me algebra? I never used that shit. Because if they taught me that in high school, I would have not looked like this. You know what I mean? Like... Do you know how embarrassing my life, like all of my pictures from 8th grade, from 9th grade, Jesus Christ. Now people I went to high school with, they look at that and then I look at this and I, I look like a catfish. I straight up do look like a catfish. Yeah, I have so many embarrassing pictures and I was looking through them and I was like, oh, I should make a video talking about like how terrible I used to do my makeup. And I was like, I will make a funny video, but I'll also make a informative one on how to not get flashback you know what i mean so yeah the base the foundation is sitting well and good as you can see uh when i applied it it was super light but as time passed by it oxidizes and it sits well with my skin tone i'm an idiot titanium i just realized i'm an idiot i was supposed to color correct with this i think i still can if i want to so this is the la girl concealer i think everyone knows this it's in the shade orange i'm just gonna apply a little bit just a little like yeah, that's it. As you can see, that's just a little bit, just to cancel out any darkness I have. I would just apply this all around my mouth area, like this whole area would be orange and I would just like apply foundation on top of it and go about my day. And my friends would be like, why does your jaw look orange? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's just oxidizing, you know. But I knew secretly it was this concealer. So I was really scared about that and I never used it after that. Like I never touched it. Unless like, you know, I really need to like, I got like a, a uh, scar here because of a curling wand and this is really hard to cover with concealer or foundations so for situations like that you can use this and this will cover this 
part really well and then you apply foundation and then it's good to go i just removing all the foundation moving on to concealer again using all the la girl concealers i have one to conceal i have one to highlight and i have a super dark one to contour this is in the shade mahogany uh this is medium beige and this one is yellow corrector it's just from yellow corrector but i like to use this to highlight under my eye i had a super bright under eye highlighted under eye that is also one of the factors of why i had flashbacks so you might want to use a concealer that's just like this is like exactly two or maximum three shades lighter than my skin tone that way you're on the safe side and you know you're not gonna get flashback i have a big ass forehead i don't know why to me my forehead is like really huge so I just have to apply a little bit on the center. Bring it down to the nose if you want to. And I think that's that's good. So this is a super, super light concealer. So apply a little bit, like I'm literally, oh wait, let me just, ooh, it's coming out. So I like to literally apply, can you, can you see that? I like to apply just that, that much. Little bit here, little bit here. So this is like, I will get that highlighted effect, but at the same time, it won't be too much when I get that ashy under eye. I like to bring it all the way here. This gives me like a lift, I guess. Um, I am going to contour, but this is so dark. Like, this is like a cool toned brown. Like, you don't know how dark. Oh my God. Can you see that? This is so dark. I'm so scared to use this because it can be oh my god okay the camera's not showing how dark this is this is like i don't know how to explain what color this is but this is really ashy i'm just not gonna use this i'm too scared okay so this is a contour shade so i'm just gonna apply it here okay now the liquids are all settled in i'm gonna move on to the powders you guys i can have a TED talk about just powders. Powders play a huge role in the whole flashback game. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. Everyone knows about this. Uh, I got this mainly because Kathleen Lights raved about this. So did Wayne Goss. There are so many gurus who uh, promoted this, but I don't really like this because this is ashy in a bottle. Do you want a bottle of ashiness? Here you go. $12. Waste of money. I had this kind of a thing where I liked it and then I hated it, then I knew how to work with it. The ingredients in this bottle is talc and silica. So basically, this is Satan in a bottle, if you ask me. I have two other powders to talk about. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I literally have a smile when I talk about this because it's my baby. It's my favorite. So is the Airspun, hands on favorite powders. Super cheap, drugstore. I like them both for like different reasons. This has the color, the perfect color for my skin tone. This is in the shade 30 and this is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Uh, this is probably the only white powder that does not give me an ashy weird cast but one problem with this major flashback like this is a straight up white powder but this gives me flashback like a mofo so i'm just going to be applying the maybelline fit me powder for now pounce it under my eye so yeah the thing with airspun is you guys i got so much flashback with that like i would set my whole face with airspun and I would look crazy like my friends would take pictures of me and they would be like what is up with your face and I had like no explanation <laughs> I looked crazy but oh my god look at that it made my whole face matte in like seconds and, and I look flawless okay so done with the powder now I know for a fact I'm not getting any flashback because I use this but I need to set the rest of my face as well or else the bronzer and the powders I use afterwards they're gonna cling on to the dry patches. So I like to use my MAC Studio Fix. This, listen, everyone needs to have one of their MAC powders and you probably can find your shade. I'm bronzing my face using the MAC uh, Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. So yeah, I'm done with bronzing. I'm just going to quickly do my eyeshadow off camera and be right back. Finally, I just got done with my eye makeup. I wanted to go for something natural. I ended up with this. It's 9.35 p.m. in the night. I'm not going anywhere. I, I do have a problem. By the way, I used the Morphe uh, eyeshadow palette and I used these three shades. I used this uh, to make it more smoky. This is all over my eyelid and this is the shimmery part if you're wondering and do you remember when this eyeshadow came out the whole controversy of this being really white 
and how it can be really dirty and stuff and people were right like you do not know how dirty the palette is like i didn't even use this i think it's been like six months since i haven't touched this palette and i don't even know how it got dirty but okay i'm going to contour my face using the uh, sleek contour kit this is in the shade medium and i'm just taking this brush and applying it trying to contour and hide this big ass head <laughs> i have a lot of brains you see so so i'm gonna be applying blush this is the sleek blush by three palette you guys the names are so hard what is crotchet gooper chantilly oh use this app again okay i'm gonna use literally the blush with the easiest name oh my god they all suck chantilly yeah chantilly i think that's an easy i'm pronouncing that right Fuck off. i'm gonna be so disappointed if this is wrong like i'm going to delete my channel if this is wrong chantilly 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 yeah chantilly got it jumping onto chantilly uh it's i think this shade so just applying a little bit so i have like the three best most underrated less talked about highlighters in the market okay the first one is the milani fantastic Ouch. face and body bronzer and this is another one this is the alexis ren colourpop collection and this highlighter is called she's here to stay the bronzer is really light and it's it's really dull for my skin but the highlight is super pretty and it's 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 so stunning another one is the maybelline massacre oh my god like maybelline is really stepping up their brand but this is actually a super hyped up highlighter so this is how it looks like look at that that's so pretty but if you still want to use something like a silvery whitish peachy uh, highlighter you can still apply that but you kind of have to make it work because it can be a little light for your uh, tan complexion so i'm gonna go first in with the milani highlighter i guess now i like to go in with the uh maybelline master chrome i like to take an eyeshadow brush and just dip in a little bit and apply it right oh my god that was that is so blinding i think i hope you can see that but that was insane look at that i'm gonna be applying the i think the cork lip liner that's my go-to So now moving on to lipstick, I'm so, so excited to try out the Dose of Colors uh, lipstick in the shade More Creamer, please. I actually got this, I think, a week ago, and I'm just, like, saving it in my drawer. Like, I'm going to try it, like, in a tutorial. I don't want to try it right now. Oh, my God. My heart. Ah! This is it. Uh, I'm going to cry. Peachy Nude is, like, my second name, and... Holy shit, this is so pretty. Oh god, I want seven of these, you guys. I just have one backup and I'm I'm just so selfish already. I just need more of this. Now I'm just going to spray my face using the um, Mac Fix Plus. Okay, I'm just going to go to the other side because this light could probably change something. I don't know. I'm just going to go to the corner and try clicking a picture and see for myself if the flash test works or not that's crazy like i think it's the first time i'm taking a picture and there is zero flash bright this this actually works yeah i think this is this this passed the test this is the end of the look i hope you found this video helpful i really hope you do there are so many brown friends that really need to see this so did i back in 2012 or 13 because most of us end up having such bad flashback pictures like it's it's like high key embarrassing so yeah if there's someone in your life you know does makeup like this share this video with them they really need to see this like you guys know my friend millie she was the only one who would look at my makeup and be like what the fuck is that and she she would literally tell my face i looked scary and i, I would never understand what she meant yeah i i kind of do because so yeah uh be a good friend be an honest friend and tell your friends when your makeup sucks in all seriousness i do hope that this video somehow helped you this video thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video